get connected to Wi-Fi, you'll need to set up your UW router first. We'll show you how in this handy video. Before you get started, make sure you've received a text from us to let you know your service is live. Once you've got this, let's check inside the box we sent you. You'll find a UW Wi-Fi hub and its power supply, a white and yellow broadband cable, a grey broadband cable, and your wireless settings card. If requested, you'll also have a microfilter. Now you'll want to find your master socket. This is the first point where your phone line comes into your property. If your master socket looks like this and has two different sockets in it, it's a double socket, so therefore you don't need a microfilter. If you only have one socket, plug the microfilter into it. Then plug one end of your grey broadband cable into the microfilter. Plug the other end of the grey cable into the socket marked DSL on the back of the hub. If you use a home phone, plug your telephone cable into the microfilter socket labelled Phone. For those with a double master socket, you'll want to plug your grey cable into the smaller socket. If you use a home phone, plug this into the large socket. Assemble the two-part power supply by sliding the plug into the slot on the power adapter. Then plug it into the back of your hub and then into your wall. Turn on your main plug and then turn on the power switch at the back of the hub. If you used a microfilter, your complete setup should now look like this. And if you have a double socket, it will look like this. A sequence of lights will come on and may take up to five minutes to stabilize. You can now connect your wireless devices, like mobile handsets and tablets, to your Wi-Fi hub. From your wireless settings card, type the password into your device settings or scan the QR code to get connected. You should keep your router upright, off the floor and facing into the room with no obstacles or electrical appliances nearby. And that's it. You can now enjoy your UW broadband.